Hello CS124 Honors students, in this video we'll be talking about GitHub Desktop and how to use it to do your basic workflow with Git. So first off we have Git clone, which as you remember will download and extract an external repository and set it up as a local repository in your current directory. So to do that, you're going to start off by clicking in the top left that current repository button and in there you can then click the add button and you'll see clone repository or you can also do create new repository which is the equivalent of git init and so now from there you should be able to then click a couple of buttons and you'll have a guided prompt which will basically allow you to enter that uh, github link or you can also add from a list of repositories so i'll show that over now so before we get started with cloning a repository GitHub Desktop is relatively simple to install. All you do is go to desktop.github.com and you can click the big download button right there. Once you have it, then we can get started with cloning our repository. So to do that, let's go over to GitHub Desktop. Now that we've got GitHub Desktop open, let's clone a repository. So to do that, there's obviously the big button to clone one. And you can start off by just using a URL or you can pre-select one that you've been given access to from one of those buttons there. So for this case, we're going to copy a URL from a repository that I've created. So as you can see, we have this repository open. All you have to do is click the code button and then take the URL. And just like that, we can put in the repository uh, URL right there and we can choose where we want to put it. In this case, I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder and hit clone. And so once it's done cloning, it'll then set you up with your basic GitHub desktop experience, and you can now take a look at everything how you want it, right? So we're gonna start off by now going back to the slides and talking about how we can add new files. So the next command is git add, and so git add, as mentioned in the last lecture, marks files to be committed in the next commit. So obviously that's a little bit of a circular definition, but essentially, unlike bash, GitHub Desktop will automatically add any files you change for you, right? So you don't really need to worry about git add unless you've added a file that you don't want in git. So some examples of that might be like an API key or something else. And so as you can see here, we have our shopping list and what we can do is let's say we don't want to add the shopping list yet. We can actually uncheck that checkbox to the left and remove the shopping list from the added files. All right, so now that we want to make some changes and add some files, let's go over to VS Code and make a change to our file. So in this case, we're going to add strawberries to our list. And as you can see on the right, it'll show a green line for anything new that we've added, as well as show an M for anything that we've modified. So now to add this to our uh, commit, we can come over here and you'll see it'll show us exactly what we've added, and then it'll automatically add us this file because we've changed it. We can also uncheck that to remove it from the staging area. So now let's talk about how to commit it. All right, so next up we have git commit, which is obviously going to commit the stage files to the repository. And also, as we mentioned before, attaches your email and name, as well as when you commit. And so looking at the previous example, we now have a couple of steps. First off, we want to make sure that we've git added everything we want by just selecting all the change files that we want. Then we want to add the title and the message. So in this case, I said create my shopping list and then added apples to the list, right? So this is a simple little commit message that allows us to see what was going on. And then all we have to do is click commit and everything else is done for us. So everything will be taken care of. We now have our commit made and we're good to go. All right, so to commit this file, all we have to do is, as I mentioned down here, add our changes. So in this case, add strawberries. And there really isn't anything for the description, so we're going to skip that right now. If we wanted to add co-authors, we could click that button right there. But in this case, I'm just going to commit it. And just like that, we've now made a commit. Super simple, one click, very easy. So now let's go back over the slides and take a look at how we can now push it. All right, so next up we have git push. And so to do that, we'll be uploading any new commits to the origin. And all we have to do is click push origin, right? It's just that simple. Once you've made a commit, you're able to just click that button to push to the origin and it will push all of the new commits since you uh, pulled. All right, so to push it, as you can see, all we have to do is click that one button and we're done. Now it's been pushed and if we go over to GitHub, you'll see now our shopping list is updated with strawberries. 
So now let's say we want to make one more change and we're going to add uh, oranges to the list. And we can commit that via GitHub like so. And now how do we get this change that's been made somewhere else and pull it into our own repository, our local repository? Let's take a look at the slides and then we'll show it in the demo. Lastly, we have git pull and git pull will do the opposite of git push and all we have to do there is take them from origin and put them in our local repository. And so to do this, we first will click fetch origin, which is right there. And then we can click pull origin right there. And this will then take our commits that were made on origin, maybe from someone else and download them to our local repository. So let's take a look at that in action. All right, so as I mentioned in the slides, all you've got to do is click this fetch origin button and then click pull origin. And now if we go over here, you'll now see that we have oranges in our committed changes. All right, so quick overview. As mentioned at the start, we talked about GitHub desktop to do git clone, add, commit, push, and pull, just like we would with bash, but now with a friendlier GUI that should make it a little bit easier to conceptualize and work with. So yeah, now let's go off to that second video that the 128 students have already taken a look at, and let's talk about branching, merging, and all that kind of fun stuff.